All of a sudden, just in the last couple of days, 9.6% of all desktop users are running Windows 7. Which makes you wonder, why would everyone suddenly be running on the... the do you remember these computers? I mean, back when computers were plastic and they came with Windows 7. Why would everyone upgrade to these? And the answer is that they didn't. They aren't. Why not? So if you drill down on the stats, it turns out this entire spike of Windows 7 users is entirely coming from Singapore, which means 9.5% of all the desktop users in the world are in Singapore using Windows 7. And that's impossible. There just aren't that many people in Windows 7 in Singapore. StatCounter keeps track of what operating systems or what browsers are used to visit websites around the world, and they get all these stats together and they publish reports on it. So what's going on? I'm pretty sure it's one AI startup who decided that no one would suspect Suspect an AI bot would be using Windows 7 to download websites. That must be a real consumer. And they got carried away and launched hundreds of millions of virtual machines, right? Not real computers, just one computer pretending to be thousands and thousands of Windows 7 desktops downloading everyone's websites to train their AI. And they got so carried away that they messed up the worldwide stats. So should people who can't upgrade to Windows 11 actually be downgrading to Windows 7? It's crazy to think that people would be running Windows 7 today. I mean, I know some people are, but it is so insecure. My Microsoft hasn't done a security patch for it in 10 years. It is so woefully unprotected, you should never connect a computer with Windows 7 to the internet. In conclusion, Windows 7 is not back. Sorry, guys. We have a lot more tech discussions on our channel, so subscribe.